Nashville happens to be the hotbed of theater. What I mean by that is you're going to an audience who is accustomed to going, and they have seen it all. Plus the fact we need that kind of information to make all of the tweaks of the show ready to present to a ticket-buying public. Nashville, the very, very sound of Nashville, is theatrical, and it's a good place to be. For a single human tear, symbol scrawled with chalk. Well, the spine of the show, the spine of the film, we have taken that to present it on the stage live. And the lovely part of it is that I had never anticipated such a move until I met Shirley Temple over here. And you're gonna, you're gonna hear the name Michael Andrews. You're gonna hear that after the first preview. It will spread like wildfire. But I have to say, just to comment on what Jerry's been saying, uh, this experience for me, as you can imagine, for the past seven years, has exceeded my dream uh, my, that I had when I was a little boy of playing these characters. And I've had several moments, including the past five minutes or so, where it feels like an out-of-body experience. <laughs> Michael talks about how there are these two people that he inhabits, that, created by Jerry Lewis of Buddy Love. And the other day, I was, I'm, I'm so buying into what he's doing. The other day I said, oh, you're fine, you have time to make the costume change because you're not in the next scene. Uh, completely forgetting he was Buddy Love in the next scene. <laughs> I, I actually, I, I keep thinking I'm going to have to talk to Buddy about that. I, I, I keep, uh, I'll say, I have a note. Oh no, not for you. And, and, and uh, so I'm, I'm really caught up in, in that magic. Because the first thing I said to Michael at my home that night was, we cannot use an impression of Jerry Lewis. We better not ever allow that to happen for a split second because it becomes contagious and all of a sudden you're doing a documentary on the life of this Jew. Now, two, three, four. <laughs>